Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, before we get started, do me a favor. Just obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and uh, gently boop the notification bell. And, of course, check out michaelsfishroom.com when we're all done. After you watch the whole video two or three hundred times. Uh, just a quick note, my pretty much brand new Canon T7i is not functioning correctly. So I am. I went back to my iPhone to film this video, which probably my guess would be the next five or six videos will be with my phone until I can get the camera fixed. It's under warranty, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. I just have to either send it to Canon or find a local repair facility. Enough about me. Let's talk about a fish room tour, an around the world fish room tour, the whole thing, the whole kit and caboodle. So guys, this is gonna be a long one. Do me a favor, go get a snack and a beverage. Of course, let me know down below because I love to hear about snacks and beverages. And uh, buckle up because it's gonna be an exciting full tour. <sighs> All right, fishy folks, let's start with the temperature, 84.2 degrees in the fish room. 45% humidity. Thank you to my self-installed blue flame ventless heater. Works great. Really does. Lowered my electric bill already. How it lowered my electric bill, you may ask? Well, I used heaters in certain tanks for breeding, uh, and I've unplugged them all. So that's how it lowered my electric bill. Also, I don't have a uh, dehumidifier running. 45% humidity really isn't too bad. Uh, but if I can find a dehumidifier that's energy efficient, I might go ahead and buy one. Look at Chewy's cock. It is fabulous. He is gorgeous. I'm not just saying that because he's my fish. But look at him. He's gorgeous. Good cock. Look at the chin. My, my seven-year-old Lucas loves the chin. He loves feeding him. He keeps wanting to play with it. And I'm like, he's going to bite you and it's going to hurt. So anyway, I got him an aqua craze. And uh, I feed him primarily... Excalibur, this bag actually got wet, so it's not a good a good thingy thing, but uh, so I feed him the regular Excalibur. I also have this Excalibur Mass Effect pre-release. I think it's been fully released now. And uh, there's Chewy. And also this uh, Intense Red pre-release. And uh, this Cobalt Ultra Pellet Predator. He eats, of course, cichlid food from Northfin. Um, not a big fan of the Krill Pro actually none of my fish are i i have to grind it up and give it to fry there but i'm surprised because i that's some good stuff right there but uh so chewy pretty much every day gets excalibur once a day sometimes twice a day and then occasionally i'll give him something else just for variety so that's chewy go down and talk about han look at him he's a sweetie too and leah's probably in her cave hiding because that's what she does down here yep there she is i'm assuming female don't really know all right how about some plecos uh these are the lemon blue eye plecos and you can see i have one of the hang on backs doing work cleaning out mom pretty good got a little bit over here got a little bit over here uh, if i stir that water up or if i move that filter a little bit that'll certainly clean the water but i'm okay with mom um i'm a little surprised these guys haven't spawned since august um quite frankly i thought there'd be at least two other spawns i have um what was i gonna say i have tried the cold water trick uh did a water change basically i drained out i don't know 10 15 percent of the water then added much cooler water, maybe 10 degrees cooler, and uh, thought that would trigger spawning. Now, it is quite possible that they have spawned and the snails have taken over, but I don't really think so. I think dads do a pretty good job protecting them, but you can see one of the big ones down there. There's another big one over there, so. All right, here we go with a betta. This gorgeous guy is for sale. Um, he's on the website, michaelsfishroom.com. Check him out. And of course, Right there we have Bruce just chilling. Uh, actually in here there's also some plecos. You can see there's some big calicos. There's one hanging out in the cave. I think there's three in here. All right, moving on. Down here we have the uh, platinum red Dumbleweir mosaics. No, platinum red dragon mosaics. They're not officially Dumbleweirs, 
Although I've been trying to work on getting those dumbbell ears bigger and uh, you can see some of the males are really starting to show huge ears. There's also some albino plecos in here, some bigger ones. Um, I have essentially three tanks full of them because you guys love albino plecos. I can't keep them in stock. So here we have half black red delta fry. Uh, I had 14 females and during Black Friday, I sold all of them but one. Uh, I actually had to tell a couple people I was out of stock of them because I needed one left. Uh, but there's quite a bit of fry in here, so hopefully in the springtime, we'll have quite a bit of fry. I mean, quite a bit of guppies to sell. Here we have the glass belly guppies, and uh, there's also some long fin plecos in here. They're hiding. There's some, there's a cave I got from uh, Greg Jones at my aquarium box. Thank you, Greg. And there's one of the Amazon uh, caves. Links in the description. I realized in my last hang on back video, actually you can see a pleco right there chilling. That's pretty cool. Uh, in my last video, I didn't put the link to the sponge filter. So I'll probably add that to this, this video as well. All right, moving on. Okay, speaking of bristlenose, here is a second tank of bristlenose grow outs. Uh, there's about, I think, 18 or so in there. Lots of mom. I actually shut the uh, the hang on back off to film. The cord was in the way. So, like I said, these are just grow outs. Uh, over here, we sold a poop ton of mutt guppies to a local fish store, uh, actually in Pennsylvania, that I visited yesterday. So I'm a little bit short on... Um, Muck guppies, these are just some fry and there are some calico bristlenose in here. I think there's three small ones we're growing out. Here we have the uh, grow out tank of the rainbow, Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics. If you remember, I always uh, try to have a spare female and she dropped a bunch of fry and they're growing out in here. Here we have the Jade Head Cobra Red Mosaics. I don't know what they're called. Um, Jade had something, but uh, these are just females grow outs, and uh, I try to separate the males. They're in one of the male tanks, actually right down there, which we can look at. So here we have red cobras, black Moscows, and the male jade heads. Um, there's another male in there. I'm not so sure what that is. That just might be a mutt male that I didn't know where it belonged, so I put it in there. Here we have some grow out um, super reds. I have some more super reds coming from a supplier as well as a breeding pair of super reds. And a subscriber and customer who purchased some of these Japanese blue lower sword tails from me a couple months back. Lives in Puerto Rico and is considering shipping fish, so he asked if I would be a guinea pig and he could ship me some fish. And of course I said yes, he did a great job packing, especially for his first time. Everybody made it, everybody was healthy, so they're just growing out in here. Uh, let's do these three tanks down here. This is another mutt tank. These were mutts from the pond. Uh, there might be a few females and fry left in here, but same thing, I, I pulled most of these out of here for my wholesale order. Here is the uh, black panda tank. Maybe you can see better from the top. Lots of juveniles and fry just growing out. Look, there's a snail crawling on the rickia. That's kind of cool, actually. Over here we have um, this ginormous female and some grow outs. These, I think, are going to end up being mutts. I know what they are. Um, I don't really have a name for them yet, but they're not breeding 100% true. So I, I got to see what's up, see how they breed. Um, and we'll go from there. All right. Moving on, there's a Jibiceps Pleco in here that uh, I bought to sell at auction and he didn't sell, so I'm growing them out and I'll bring them to the next auction. And then these are more mutts. These were the offspring of the American Koi Guppies that don't breed true. Um, I thought I had pulled every guppy out of here then I added some plecos and there was one female left. So I've since pulled her out, but these are all the fry and juveniles from that spawn. So I'm just letting them grow out so they're big enough. Then I'll probably catch them out and uh, 
put them with the mutts. I have to consolidate all my mutts, which we'll talk about maybe in another video. These are the Hawaiian snakeskins I just got in, I think about two weeks ago. I did an unboxing, there'll be a link somewhere in this general area. But these guys are gorgeous. Um, no fry yet. Oh, there are some uh, regular bristlenose plecos in there too. Um, no fry yet, which I'm not overly surprised at. Sometimes it takes these guys. Either you'll get fry a fry drop within the first like 48 hours or it's going to take some time. So, But just gorgeous guppies. Um, I, I'm assuming they'll be fried in the next week or two. And uh, over here we have the tank that I still haven't changed. If you remember before I went to Japan, uh, I found this tank, tank leaking. I didn't have time to fix it, so I just lowered the water. That took care of the leak, which either means the leak is caused by pressure from too much water or the leak is up top. Either way, I gotta just uh, throw the tank away. I just haven't had time. So uh, there's an assassin's now, but there are some calico bristle nose in here, just a couple left. And there's some uh, yellow, not yellow, some Cobra guppy fry that uh, were born in here. I couldn't catch out when they were so small. So I'll, again, I'll let them grow big and then I'll, I'll move them out. Speaking of Cobra guppies, here's a tank. Uh, there's probably about 40 adult female Cobra guppies in here. There's a ton of fry and there might be some males just, you know, that have grown up in here that I haven't caught yet. So here's another tank of Cobras. Uh, I've been pulling out of this tank. This is the one that I was uh, sort of doing an experiment on. I had a heater in one and a heat, not a heater in another to see. And I definitely got, got uh, males out of this tank. I got no males out of this tank. It's low in the room, so it's cooler. There's one. So it's cooler than uh, the tanks higher up, and I didn't think I was gonna get really many at all males out of here, and I didn't. Here's an empty tank with some, uh, it was dried out Java, uh, Java moss, now it's just garbage. Gotta clean that tank out. Here we have the steel nebula guppies I got from Keith. Uh, these have a little bit of a different pattern than the steel nebulas I already have, which I'll show you here. Uh, these are the steel nebula guppies I've been working on the colony. You can see they are doing fantastic. In fact, I'm shipping a, shipping some to my buddy uh, Ryan on Monday. Uh, Ryan runs PRA Aquatics, a fantastic forum, and he's just super smart, and he is a fantastic breeder of all fishies but mostly discus but he's got a little live bearer row going on so i'm gonna i'm gonna hook him up i'm gonna surprise him so ryan if you see this yep you're getting more than one pair possibly three pairs we'll see all right so these are a little bit different i love them uh i'm probably gonna call them a different steel nebula because you know how i like naming fish and uh we'll sell them you know two different kinds of steel nebulas uh, we missed a bunch of tanks up top, so let's go back. Not doing a good job here of keeping things in order. Here are the dark purple mosaics that I got in a couple weeks ago. Gorgeous looking fish. No fry yet. Um, I gotta do something. The, the temperature up here is, is, is warm, you know, because heat rises. So the heat sort of gets stuck up in the rafter. So I gotta get a fan to blow the, the, the heat around, the hot air around. But... Um, these are some guppies that I got from a local, my local fish store. Uh, one of his customers breeds them. Now I can't see anymore. There's, there's fry in here finally. Uh, but I did lose a guppy. I hope I didn't lose any more. And I, I'm assuming it was because the water was too warm. Of course I can't see. Oh, there's one over there, I think, in the corner. You can see the reflection, I hope. I gotta check this tank out, but uh just trying to breed these out get them ready for spring sale so here are the medusa guppies also i got at the same time as the uh dark purple mosaics and the hawaiian snake skins a uh, little small which is fine i don't mind growing them out but a great looking guppy very colorful great pattern on the body um looks like i'm missing a female either she's hiding i'm assuming she's hiding oh there's fry in the back actually so she must be hiding in the back I don't know if you can see that fry back there. Let's see. Can you see the fry swimming in the weeds? Man, this iPhone really takes good video. All right, 
Moving on, half black, uh, Delta males, half black, red Delta males. So you see how many males I have compared to how many females I have. Uh, so some of these will go in mutt orders. There's two different uh, body colors. There's the gold body and the silver body, but these are great looking fish. Pretty inexpensive uh, for a nice starter guppy. And uh, of course, very prolific. Ah, the Jarwee Lazulis. These guys are doing well. Still not old enough to sex 100%, but you can see there have been at least two drops in there. That's what a, real, a really nice male looks like. Can't wait to get these back up on the website. I already have two or three back orders for these, so we'll be breeding these heavily over the, the winter. I will more than likely be separating a female, so I have two tanks going just in case. Uh, more mutts, these were from the pond. Uh, I sold all the big ones out of here, so we'll let these grow these guys grow up a little bit Then we'll throw them with the big in the big mutt tank This tank is empty. I uh, pulled everything out of it yesterday Now what I have to do is pull out the all the grass and stuff and the filter Make sure there's no fry stuck in there. Then I can reuse it in other mutt tanks um, I've made that mistake before I've pulled guppy grass or Java for Java moss out from tanks and there would have been a fry or two stuck in there that contaminate the whole line and boom we have more months i don't want to do that these are the my old line of japanese blues and i didn't do a very good job of calling out the red so you can see there's there's a red one and there's there's some without the lower sword tail so um i've sort of been selling these as you know some someone asks for blue mutts i've been adding some of these to their order um, more than likely, I will uh, again attempt to start breeding uh, a little bit of line breeding going on to get the red back out and the swords back in. So, just a project over the winter I got to work on. Uh, half black guppies, lots of fry. Hey, look at my reflection. Damn, I look um, Lots of fry in here. Uh, not a big seller. You know the story. Tanaka Maple Leafs doing well. Very prolific, very hardy, very nice guppies. These are one of the purple deltas I have. I don't know what goes on. I see a couple and then I don't see any, so I gotta check this out. Mutt tanks, that's a sick guppy. This, these guppies are all in quarantine right now, trying to uh, trying to heal them. They have probably some parasites. So uh, yeah, nothing goes in this tank, nothing comes out of this tank until uh, until I get them healed. If uh, I don't think they're going to do well, I will uh, I will have to take care of them. But there's fry in here. I mean, the guppies are healthy enough where they're dropping fry, but you can see how sunken in their bellies look. So my uh, my original thought is they're not going to make it, but we're tr we're trying the uh, the medicated food to see what happens. We saw these the mosaics. These are the uh, American purple deltas that aren't breeding true. They have lots of yellow in them. So these sort of have become specialty mutts, if you will. You can see lots of fry in there, which is fine. I, I've already made my money's worth. So anything I can sell them for, I'll be happy. Uh, Sunset Cobra Mosaics. I got from, I think his company is something fishy. Uh, Matt out in co-op land in, in uh, Washington. He crossed I think some red cobras and some other mosaic and uh, fancy looking fish. I really like them. Uh, no fry yet, but I'm sure soon enough. I do have to add some Java moss, I think. But uh, this is an interesting tank because it's it's at the top, so it's warm, but it's close to the curtain, so as, as far away from the heat as possible. Look, you can see how far away it is. All right. Here's a breeding group of albino plecos. You can see a pleco, baby pleco down there. There's about, and some on the, on the thingy things. Uh, there's quite a few in here. And this is a tank that I, I used the souped up sponge filter on. And uh, these things clogged up really fast. Like within an hour, we had almost no flow. So for this particular application, not so good. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I probably will just leave it. You can see there's some baby snails in there, but I can't gravel that because all the baby pluckos are probably chilling in there. So looks like dad's in the cave, maybe working on some eggs. I don't know. 
Uh, mutt tank, lots of fry, really nothing to see here. Second mutt tank, lots of fry, really nothing to see here. Black Moscow grow out, very few fry in here. I had a huge sale. I am getting some more uh, IFGA winning stock uh, from my buddy Doug, who I missed at the event I was at yesterday. I saw his crappy Nissan outside and uh, as I was leaving and I couldn't go back because I was with my boy Scott and Chris. All right, uh, another breeding group of albino bristle nose. I haven't had any luck with these guys. I mean, there's definitely males and females. They're definitely of breeding age and size, but I haven't seen any fry in here. I'm a little disappointed. I probably will try the cold water breeding trick Whereas, you know, you do a water change and add a little cooler water to simulate a, a rainfall and see how I can get them to spawn. I may be asking some uh, super pleco breeders for some help on these because these guys should have definitely spawned at least once. There's some leftover um, fish in here as well, some guppies. I don't feed this tank any guppy food, so all they get is scraps. Um, yeah. Breeding group of calico bristlenose, another tank where I'm having some issue breeding. Lots of caves here from Greg at my aquarium box. Thank you, Greg. All right, let's grab the rolling stool because I'm a fat guy who doesn't want to bend. Here's uh, just a blue mutt tank. Really nothing going on there. There's a few fish left in here, but everything in this tank will be consolidated, I think. Basically what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these six tanks here and, and make them my mutt tanks. Try to separate colors. Um, I'm considering these yellow cobras, adding them to the mutt tanks. They're, uh, they're really not great looking cobras. So I think I'm gonna, gonna add them to the mutts and take them off the website till I can get some better stock. These are offspring also from the American Koi Deltas that don't breed true, as well as all the fish I got from a local subscriber. Um, I picked up all her pond fish. Looks like she had some, some uh, endlers, endler crosses in there, but um, these guys, I mean, they're just gonna be part of the mutt package. Uh, that's a gorgeous looking fish. It's just a mutt. <coughs> I'm fine. Um, and there's quite a few in here. I feed this tank pretty heavily. You can see that looks like, you know, maybe maybe a cobra female or something. And then there are some other females. But the, the little endler crosses look nice. If you're buying much from me and you like the little endler crosses, just send me a note that says, hey, if you could add some of those little endlers, that would be great. All right, a couple more tanks, folks. Here we have the uh, top fin tank. No. This pothos is weird. Uh, you can see this leaf obviously has some deficiencies but it's okay most other leaves have died but it really has sprung sprung some roots so we're gonna leave it i have one red shrimp look at that thing i got this shrimp in the summer when i got these uh dumbo rainbow dragon mosaics also from a local subscriber um she also breeds bettas we have a couple of, of actually fishy friends uh in common so um but Mary, if you're looking at this video, look at that shrimp that I, I took. It's huge. Um, Lucas likes to come down and play with it. Anyway, these are the Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics. Uh, doing well. Uh, also sold a poop ton out of these, especially when I first added them to the website. They are the uh, first place winners from the Keystone Clash, and they are spectacular. Um, last tank. These are the... I got these from Barbara out in California. They uh, are like magenta mosaics. These are the ones that sort of breed true, maybe 75%-ish. So I'm kind of letting them grow out, see what we have, and, and I'll see if I call them something special and just warn people they may or may not breed true. Um, but, you know, if I need a, a different color for a mutt pack, I grab something out of here. I did grab a lot of the males out of here for my wholesale order. Uh, I sold 70 guppies uh, yesterday to a local fish store, which was pretty nice. I'm not a big fan of selling at wholesale because, quite frankly, I don't really need to. But I was helping out a friend who uh, I'm sure would help me out if I needed. 
All right, fishy folks, that's it for the extended fish room tour. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. And, uh, you know, check out uh, my buddy Scott, King and Queen Cichlids. And um, Aquarium Adventures. By the way, there may or may not be some bloopers in this video that uh, aren't from this video. Maybe some shenanigans from yesterday. Here are the Hawaiian snake stands. Hawaiian snake stands. Holy Jesus. Hey, fishy folks. <clears throat> Sorry. It's like 520 in the morning. I had to wake up early to cook an extra brisket because I have people coming over for Hanukkah dinner tonight and uh, my oldest son has to get back to school early, so we have to eat early, so I have to cook early. Got it? All right, let's start again. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Do me a favor, obliterate the subscription button if you haven't done so already, and of course, gently, boop, the notification bell. And uh, when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Now, uh, again, not again, because you haven't seen the video. Fudge. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm here with Scott from King and Queen Cichlids in front of Reef to Rift. I am here with Michael's Fish Room, Mike from Michael's Fish Room. We are getting ready to go. So my real Rift. expensive camera's all jacked up, so I got to use my phone, which is fine. You see, you know. King Queens, we leave with no stone unturned. This is <laughs> top quality right here, but we're here with our friend. Say hi. How you doing? Introduce yourself. Let me Chris. take you to That's the ladybug. This is what Michael from Michael's Fish Room. He's just wow. jealous because he's driving, I don't want to call it a POS, but I mean, look at it. It spells POS. All right, fishy folks, we're in this store. I'm checking out some Plecos. L14 Sunshine Pleco 170. Scott here at Reef Rift always has some great plecos. Here's a ginormous green dragon. Only $2.50. Maybe I'll take a pair. Another sunshine. A couple sunshine plecos. Pretty awesome. He got some guppies. He got some guppies. That's not even proper English. He has some guppies. Uh, they're just assorted mutts. Looking great. Very big. Very bright. Yeah, lots of live bears. We're gonna do a full store tour. I might just be piecing together some some footage here, just because uh, I'm here. So he's probably getting excited over here, looking at these guppies. Hi, Scott. Hi, guys. How are you? When you want to come see real fish, come see King Queen Cichlids. Really? What kind of fish do you have over at big, King Queen Cichlids? Big cichlids. Oh, we actually do have guppies. You got, oh. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Strike that from <laughs> Boom! No editing. Hashtag no editing. Oh, come on. These guppies are really nice, Can but they're just nuts. Can you draw some hair on the hairline right here when, when you do edit? If you ever get editing. I'm. You're run, the editor, editing guru. Do I need to come a little further now? Or right no. here would be good? Well, I mean, the glare is a little bad. <laughs> Look, there's Tom. Say hi, Tom. Oh, hey, Tom. 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 Tom.